And after the grand and momentous success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, the Indian Space Research Organization is gearing up for its next mission. After achieving a soft landing near the south pole of the moon, the next destination for India's space agency is the sun. Here's what India's next ambitious mission is all about. Aditya L1 is slated to be India's first mission to study the sun. The spacecraft shall be placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrange point 1 in the solar system. This point in space is about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. A satellite placed in the halo orbit around the L1 point is important to study the sun. The spacecraft will be able to study the sun without any eclipses from this point and this will provide a greater advantage of observing solar activities and its effect on space weather in real time. The spacecraft carries seven payloads to observe the layers of the sun. The observations will be conducted using electromagnetic particles and magnetic field detectors. Now here's how Aditya L1 is going to study the sun from the space. Now the spacecraft will study the dynamics of the upper solar atmosphere, that's number one. It will, it will also study partially ionized plasma. Meanwhile, it will observe the particle dynamics from the sun and also the heating mechanisms of the moon. Meanwhile, it will record the temperature, velocity and density of coronal loops. The magnetic sensors will observe field measurements around the sun. And Aditya L1 will also identify sequences of eruption processes while it is there. And these processes include those which can lead to eruptions such as solar flares. Now, for more on this, we on senior correspondent Siddharth MP spoke to, to the director of India's space port, Satish Dhawan Space Center. Take a listen. We are joined by Raja Rajan sir, he is the director of India's space port, Satish Dhawan Space Center. Sir, 40 days ago we started Chandrayaan, mission accomplished. Next is Aditya, tell us about the preparations for India's first solar mission. Yeah, and the, and the preparations at uh, uh, Satish Dhawan Space Center is going on very well for Aditya L1. The PSLV C57 uh, is going on in all aspects and the vehicle is being getting assembled and uh, Aditya's final checks everything is going on very well, there is no issue and if everything goes through in the first week of September definitely we will have a launch for Aditya L1 C57. So two years there was a Covid break and now we are back with a bang, this is going to be the busiest couple of years in the history of India's spaceport? Yes, no doubt and we, we have learned a lot from Covid and how to go about with the pandemic situation, how to do it in a very optimized and a, in a professional and a efficient manner and that's what we are seeing and as I was telling you long back also that we are able to do various types of launches months out of months, that's all because of the preparation that we have to do. Yes, there was a pandemic, we, it's, uh, it's for us to do how to tackle that and do it because many people are going to come to the spaceport in an island, in a remote place, but notwithstanding that, how do we do and how do we motivate the people to do it in a very efficient manner and that's what the results are we are seeing. And I think we will go to have a lot of uh, programs as uh, our Honorable Prime Minister has already uh, that we, it gives a motivation for us to go ahead with the Aditya, Gaganyan and many more in, in the scientific ways to do it. I think we will get a very good. We have to so this ongoing financial year, please give us a ballpark. How many launches can we expect? Ballpark. Around three to four launches, definitely we can expect. That's what I think because Gaganyan experiments are going to be carried out, and as well as we have PSLV launch, and past probably everything goes well, and we will have one GSLV launch. Also. Fantastic, thank you so much. Thank you. Sir. That was Rajarajan sir telling us that uh, multiple launches lay ahead for India in the coming months. With video journalist Chandrasekhar from Bengaluru, Siddharth MP, we on World Is One. And from on this, we have with us Manish Purohit, who is a former ISRO scientist. Thank you so much for joining us on Beyond. Mr. Purohit. Thank you, Raichan. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Now, Mr. Purohit, after ISRO's grand Chandrayaan success, the Indian Space Research Agency is now going to launch its first sun mission, Aditya L1 mission. What is the main objective of the mission? Can you shed some light on that? Uh, see, actually, somewhere at some point of time, we were supposed to start our exploration aims. We have been doing good in launching satellites in different orbits around the Earth. We have become kind of a a uh, very you know preferred partner for many uh, spacefaring different entities those who want to launch their satellites like OneWeb and different other satellites Singapore recently had few launches with us now the next step in the big mission 
of you know creating that big image of isro on the global front will be taking up these big steps so chandrayaan 3 was that was the first one for that and we have done it really good now we have lined up many things not just aditya l1 after that we have our gaganyaan testings and gaganyaan flight module tests are there then we have nisar coming up nasa isro synthetic aperture radar that is coming up that is slated for the next year and then we have space docking experiment where we will be we will be doing what well, what we will be doing we will be launching two satellites in two different orbits and then we'll be showing that automated autonomous docking of those two systems that's the step first step forward for our own indigenous space station so many things are lined up because we have a new space policy in place and we want to have a good penetration in the global space economy now let's talk about aditya so aditya is going to study sun actually sun study of sun is very very important because it controls the space environment around the earth because everything that happens all around the earth everything happens in our solar system is mostly governed by the sun so we should know when those solar flares are happening when the solar maxima has happened those you know uh very high energy magnetic fields when they just flare up from the sun and they push towards the earth and the other planets and when they carry high energy particles that can literally pay havoc here like you know there there has been one event we we call it carrington event and during that time uh, those high energy you know flares they made up to the earth it was in around 1843 and we, we saw something very unusual uh, there were sparks flying so so we we should know what's happening in the sun and what how the sun behaves and we have to characterize it we should have that information that data that can help help us in you know uh, thinking a bit forward in you know predicting in future that what may come and what's the reason for that and you know aditya l1 is our first step forward and it's a very ambitious one because uh, aditya has to travel around 15 lakh kilometers away from the earth towards the sun it will take around almost you know 3 months time the journey is a bit long we will be doing the same thing this row is really good at we'll be using the gravity of the earth right. to you know reach to that point we'll be maneuvering around the earth in different orbits the way we did for chandrayaan but this time we'll be going a bit far then we'll reach a point called lagrange l1 is the lagrange one point it's a point in between sun and earth not exactly at the middle but somewhere around 15 lakh kilometers away from the earth towards the sun where the gravitational pull of right. these two massive masses Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Uh, it seems like India has been to the moon, to the Mars, and now the Sun. Thanks very much and for joining. Is, and, and next, next, next is Venus. So we are Absolutely. planning Cyprian too. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us and for sharing your insights with us, Mr. Purohit. Thank you. Most welcome.